I often get questions about where I install my beautiful Sims 2 lots from. It's become kind of a joke at this point in my streams whenever someone asks where I get my redone Sims 2 lots and I even have a command set up in my Twitch chat linking to the creator of the houses I use. So today I thought I'd create a video with all my resources of where I get these stunning lots from. This is more of a beginner friendly Sims 2 video, but perhaps seasoned veterans can also find some value with the sources I'm providing. Without further ado, here are all my places I get lots from and how I install them. Super Duper Hug Bug There was an odd bug with The Sims 2 where, with some lots downloaded from the community, there would be a bug attached where Sims will repeatedly and autonomously engage in a hug with other Sims. Non. Stop. The bug arises from a poorly written hack that adds one or more custom interactions. When the mod is removed from a player's game or otherwise stops working, the game defaults to using the super duper hug in place of the loss interactions. This infection can also spread via downloading custom lots, which is why today I'm going to be showing you places that are safe to get custom lots. Community Lots I think having sims go out to visit community lots is really fun, but it's sad that a majority of these lots don't really have much to do. This is often due to the limitation imposed by EA as they design lots to be accessible even if a simmer doesn't own a specific expansion pack. Consequently, community lots tend to feature elements only from one particular pack or the base game resulting in limited interactions and limited things to do. To address this issue, I prefer replacing these community lots. The Sims 2 lot database offers a well-organized platform for browsing and discovering alternatives. When I decide to substitute an EA lot with a freshly renovated one, I jot down the name, locate it on the Sims 2 lot database, and proceed to install it, which we'll discuss the installation process shortly. Voila, we now have a stunning revitalized lot with a plethora of activities to do and things from all of the Sims 2 expansion packs working together. Residential Lots I really like EA's residential lots for the pre-mates. I like that they fit the personality of the pre-mates living in them. Gon has no stove in his house because he's a bachelor that lives by himself and doesn't know how to cook. General Buzz has a single bed in his bedroom because he was divorced by his ex-wife, who's deceased when you pick up Strange Town. I like that these EA builds tell a story but the design of them is really clunky and sometimes not practical. For example, in Pleasant View, Lilith Pleasant's room is actually not roofed correctly, so if you have The Sims 2 Seasons, she can actually freeze during the winter. <laughs> My favorite place to download new houses that maintain the integrity of the original Sims but also pay homage to their stories is Fratana's makeovers on Tumblr. Fratana has by far the most beautiful sense of design and practicality for the houses while also maintaining each Sims story. Fratana's builds revamp the interiors and exteriors, but of course Fratana's builds may not be for everyone, but this is by far the best rebuilds I have ever seen of EA residential lots. 
if you are interested in replacing the base game houses for the pre-maze, I'd highly recommend just taking a scroll on Maw the Sims, which has an array of CC free and CC custom made houses. My favorite creators among the many that are on Maw the Sims are Catherine, TC, JD, Sims Arc, and Lilydew. But there are so many other talented simmers creating builds on Maw the Sims, so I'd recommend just taking a scroll at your leisure. Installing lots. Great, we have lots now. So how do we install them? Sims 2 Pack Clean Installer is the go-to tool to use when installing lots. It has a really easy to understand interface and will even show you the CC the lot has on it so you can decide if you want to install it or leave it out of your installation. To install something with the Sims 2 Pack Clean Installer, all I do is go here to the Mod the Sims link, go to the download tab here, and there are a couple of versions in here. I am just going to go ahead and use the Sims 2 Pack Installer.zip. I'm going to download that. Google Chrome is going to download it. We get this nice little exe. You just have to say yes to the permissions. It is going to run the installer right now. And then we're just going to go ahead and and hit install on this and do the run. I'm gonna hit finish so it runs it. I'm gonna go ahead over to Fratana's makeovers on Tumblr and let's just say I want to install Don Lothario's condo to get renovated, the new Fratana makeover. Fratana hosts their downloads on Mediafire. I'm just gonna go ahead and download that. I went ahead and navigated to my downloads folder where it just installed Don Lothario's condo. It gives us a .rar file and I think you can open this natively in windows you don't need like a special 7-zip or winrar or something to open this with so i'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and then we have this pack here it is a sims 2 pack file i can just go ahead and right click on the sims 2 pack file and hit open on it at the top i'm using windows 11 so it says suggested apps and sims 2 pack clean installer opens right up so i'm gonna hit always on that i'm gonna say yes to the permissions and then now it opens up with house lothario with the date that fratana made it. Oh my god, they made it in 2014. That's crazy. And then I just go down here to click install. It's gonna give me a default location where it's going to install it. I don't ever touch this, so I'm just gonna hit install on it. And then it says files successfully installed. Now that we are in game here, if I come over to my lots and houses and then go to the beginning of my catalog, you'll see here House Lothario. Sometimes, I don't know if this is organized by the date in which you install them. I think it is, but sometimes I'll have a house or a lot that I just installed and it'll be kind of like buried in here. So sometimes you might have to kind of sort through all these and go through them. But I normally replace all the houses when I'm beginning a town. So I don't have to do it in the middle of when I'm playing the game. So all I have to do is just evict Don out of his house. If you go into the Sims lot, you can go to the computer or the newspaper out front and you can click find own place. This is also how you can split Sims off from a household if you wanted to not move the whole family out and just wanted to move one specific Sim out. Or alternatively, you can go to the families tab on the neighborhood UI and click move family and then it'll ask you if you're sure and then it'll move them down here to the bin. At this point, I'll just go over to the lots and houses tab, go to the bulldoze tool, destroy Don's old house, and I'll replace it with the brand new house that I downloaded by Fratana. I'll just rename it to Lothario so it doesn't have all of the other info on it and then I'll move Don right back in. A lot of Fratana's houses are more expensive than what they would regularly be. So obviously this one is like 74,000. Don's house before was probably only worth about 20,000 ish maybe. You can actually come up here and do family funds, Lothario or whatever the Sims last name is, and then give them the amount of money they need to move into the house. Considering I say that this is set up for a family, I don't really count this as cheating in my own game. And there we go. Don is in his brand new house. Now, if you start a brand new town like Pleasant View that has scripted events, as many of the EA towns do, unfortunately, the scripted events will not work. So you can go ahead and play those scripted events out in the EA base game house. And then after you finish them, you can demolish the house as I just did and put in the brand new download or replacement house. 
Finding and installing custom lofts for The Sims 2 can really update the EA houses made all the way back in 2004. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned veteran, the sources provided in this video offer safe and creative options for both community and residential lots. I hope you can get something out of this video and thank you all so much for watching and peace out. Thank you.